Hey guys, what's up? So, three mission top best three sheets, five is 11, 12, 13, and 14. The first sheet is called Auto Recorder at the most advanced iOS call recorder ever. It supports iOS 12, 13, and 14. So, you can record uh, calls from any call kit app, record voice memos, record system audio, record, um, you know, record your voice. So, it works with FaceTime, audio, video calls, Viber, Instagram, uh, Skype, face, uh, Facebook Messenger, Tango Online, video or uh, video calls, audio parts, um, as long as it's system audio coming from anywhere on the device, songs, websites, etc. So, also stores them um, through like, you know, like Google Drive, all that stuff. And just make sure you guys read the legal disclaimer and make sure you guys follow it. You're developing that thing, so it's I guess you just tweak. Um, you know, you should use your own, you know, use, you know, research education purposes only and use your own risk, guys. So, you know, if you get in trouble, we're not taking responsibility. So, when you guys install this app, you're also you're complying, you know, and acknowledging that you read the dis legal disclaimer. So, this tweet's called S uh, S E N O N, and with this tweet, it's pretty cool. It's a tweet that makes it easy to access your iOS, iOS devices uh, file system from your PC, and like other methods, setup is automatic. It doesn't require a command line. So you grab photos, you grab anywhere, like all your devices, your iOS, you know, file system. You can literally find that easily in, in the computer. So it supports like Mats, Linux. Um, Windows, I believe, yeah, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, on X86, X64, and ARM64 architectures are supported. So, Linux support is finicky, but uh, mostly stable. So, you uh, you know, you basically want to have your iOS device, you know, I guess, plugged into the computer, and both on the same network. So, uh, the means of the connection does not matter. It supports iOS 12.2 to 14.4. Next is called Arc, and control at your fingertips. You can quickly access the actions you use the most. This tree is a theme card Merlin, and that's what it looks like. This tree is called Data Logo Switcher, uh, change your LG, 4G, LTE, 5G logo. This tree is called Big Bang Ets, supports iOS 13 and 14. Um, you take a portion of the entire paragraph that's not adjacent to the word or phrase to use it continue to search your navigation. So you blow up sentences, customize the Big Bang Ets action menu, customize the style of the splitter interface. Um, customize the vibration effect, listen to the pasteboard, customize position, uh, able to translate or search the text you selected, URL scheme, uh, history feature, third party calls, splits in the bang, Big Bang Ed's um, view, can be modified, text recognition, so pretty cool. This tree is called Lyricfy and has been updated to support iOS 14, so it shows lyrics when you listen to songs. This tree is called Zenith and Long Way Zenith lets you create stats of icons on your home screen. This is called Jellyfish. Modernize your lock screen. Supports iOS 13 to 14.3. Always show your notification history on the lock screen. This is called Notifica Notification Customizer. This is called Notifica 8. Makes the iOS 7 notification center look like the iOS 12 beta. iOS 8 beta. This is called Etsyn HTML. Allows you to add widgets to your home screen and lock screen. Supports iOS 9 and up. This is called Color Flow. Supports iOS 13 and 13.5, color your music, I mean colorize your music, matches now playing UI to use album artwork and adds an iOS 10 style music player on the lock screen. This is called a curious, uh, makes the lock screen player better. This is called DL Easy and allows you to download share images and videos from social apps easily, supports iOS 10 to 14, these are the apps that are supported. This is called Milky Way 3, adds camera support and always launch uh, as window option, so it's like a multitasking tweak. You have these features right here. This is called BioProtect XX, supports iOS 12, 13, and 14. Protect your apps with a face or touch ID. This is called Hide Status Bar Items X, and Hide Status Bar Items allows you to hide and show certain items on the status bar. This is called Spotify, tweak with added various enhancements to the Spotify application. So you have all these features. So, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. And the last tweak is called Snapback. And what this tweak does, it allows you to create like a snapback um, of, you know, what you tweets and repos you have installed. And you can always go back to that snapback. So, like, you install a tweak and then you make a snapback and you install, like, two more tweets. If you go back to that snapback, that will go back to where you, you, where the, the where all the tweets you had installed when you, snap, when you, like, create the backup. That's where it goes. You're basically creating a jailbreak backup. So, whatever tweets you installed after the backup, you will be lost. Um, so, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.